Lebanese director Nadine Labaki is known for two semi-comedies about women, Caramel in 2007 and Where Do We Go Now in 2011. Her latest, Cafarnaum, which means literally a disorderly accumulation of objects, or more succinctly, chaos, is altogether different from her previous work. This is an uncompromising, inspirational examination of the plight of desperately poor refugees living in the slums of Beirut, and particularly of one resourceful, caring little boy. Zayn, Zayn el Rafia, is aged about 12. He doesn't know for certain because his parents never received a birth certificate for him. He lives with them and his younger sister, Zahar, Sedra Izam, in a squalid apartment located in a crowded building, where the basic requirements of life are in short supply. His older brother's in prison, and Zayn and his siblings are forced to work in an attempt to make ends meet. He runs errands for shopkeeper Assad, who is also the family's landlord. Zayn's mother, Saud, has long ago given up the struggle and has surrendered to apathy. And Zayn has a hostile attitude towards his father, Selim, who, he correctly fears, has plans to sell 11-year-old Sahar to Assad. Given the bleak setting in which all this is happening, it's unusually ironic that Zayn finds refuge in a funfair, where he befriends Rahil, a refugee from Ethiopia, who's trying to survive together with her small baby, without documents. Zayn becomes the infant's babysitter, and when Rahul is arrested during a roundup of illegals, he finds himself the child's sole supporter. Labaki's casting of non-professional actors in these roles, and her direction of them, is a considerable achievement in itself. She's also successful in depicting the chaos of street life in this part of Beirut, with its constant noise and confusion, though to achieve this she employs a camera style that is, on occasion, needlessly jittery. This heartfelt insight into the plight of some of the neediest people on the planet is centred around a court case in which Zane seeks to sue his parents for bringing him into the world in the first place. His lawyer is played by the film's director. Labaki's film is an eye-opener, a seemingly authentic exploration of the world of the dispossessed of Lebanon's capital city, made by a director who's clearly passionate about bringing this particular story to world audiences. I'm giving it four stars.